Hey hikers, it's Lee with Trailside Fitness. Hey, I just had a chance to look through a really popular hiking magazine and they had some uh, advice in there on training for a long distance hike. And they get listed four exercises that they had set up in a circuit you would do twice a week. And I looked through the exercises and personally I didn't think they were really a great fit for hikers. Uh, so I'm gonna go through what was good about them, what was bad about them, and what a better option would be uh, for you instead. So the first one they had in there was ball slams. Uh, it is a great full body exercise. It does get the legs, the core, and the shoulders nice and strong. Gets the heart pumping. Um, and it might be a really great option if you're limited on time for hiking, or for hike training. Cons, this exercise is explosive, which doesn't really fit the needs of a hiker. Um, it's not gonna be great for painful shoulders. And it's really gonna fall more in the uh, hit category or high intensity type training. Uh, which is not really something that hikers are going to get a lot of value from in terms of uh, like endurance and that kind of thing. So a better option here would be goblet squats. Uh, it's going to target the mid-back muscles, which are going to be really good to support the pack. Um, it's going to get the legs, the core. Um, it's not explosive. It just fits in line better with a lot of the needs that a, a hiker has, as opposed to something that's a little more explosive. And trust me, goblet squats are going to get your heart pumping. So the second exercise they listed was leg presses. Uh, so the pros, I mean, this is great. It's a, it's a great exercise for people that are less familiar with some gym equipment, um, like free weights. So the machines are a little bit easier for uh, beginners. You can do a single leg or a double leg version on the machine, which is really great for isolating maybe an imbalance and uh, right to left legs. The con is that uh, you never in life need to sit and then really push something away from you and that doesn't look anything at all like you would do in hiking. Um, so not really a great fit. It's probably just a popular option since most of the people have access to it at the gym. A better option for you is going to be any kind of a squat, front squat, goblet squat, Spanish squat, safety squat bar, um, lunges, anything in that category is going to be a much better use of your time in the gym. Crab walk, uh, this exercise they had listed, and I'm guessing more for the core aspect, it is a really good core exercise. That's about the only con that, I, or the pro that I could come up with. Cons, uh, you need some mobility to make this exercise work. And if you have shoulders that are irritable, you have poor uh, mobility in your hips, your quad muscles are really tight, if your mid back is stiff, this exercise is just not gonna work for you. Um, so if you're uh, sitting at a desk for the majority of your day, or you find yourself fairly sedentary and try and dive into this exercise, it's not really gonna give you the benefit that you need. A better option would be a plank or any plank variation. Um, so like a push up to a plank position would be good or a dynamic plank, something that incorporates a bit of a rotation and a reach. Um, a single arm, single leg plank. Dead bugs would be a good exercise or bird dogs are a nice substitution here as well. And then the last exercise they listed was box jumps. So pros, this is great for leg and hip strength, um, great for glutes as well. The cons, uh, they can be problematic for Achilles and calf issues. So if you've got a history of like plantar fasciitis or that kind of thing, box jumps are maybe not really a good fit. Um, and you need to have fairly good jumping and landing mechanics so that you're not stressing the knees um, unnecessarily. And this falls more in the explosive exercise category, which is great for building power but again, not really something that's gonna help a hiker in terms of like long distance hiking. So better options, use the box, but just do step ups instead. So front step ups, side step ups, crossover step ups, right? And that's really gonna mimic more of what hiking is and it's gonna be a much better fit for you. Um, so that's gonna wrap it up. Just a short, quick video on what I saw in this article. Uh, if you have any questions training wise, make sure to uh, reach out. I'm happy to help give you any direction anywhere I can. Happy trails.